Welcome to my garden. It's a wildlife wonderland. And it's a really good example of a garden in symbiosis with its local natural environment. My theme is Seaside New Wave Australian Perennial Garden. The unintended result is a garden full of blue wrens, spine bills, blue tongue lizards, blue banded bees and teddy bear bees. The flowers in this garden have been chosen for their ability to provide a lot of nectar for a long time. And it's wonderful that the birds now can create their own nests from nesting material, can bathe in the bird bath and forage for nectar and insects. This beautiful bird is an eastern spinebill with a lovely chestnut breast, and it returns to the same flower throughout the day to feed. Blue wrens dart from shrub to shrub, making little nests close to the ground to house their eggs. Lorikeets and wattlebirds love this grafted gum, and native finches chatter in the tall trees. And if I'm lucky, I'll even see a breeding pair of white-bellied sea eagles fly over from their nest at the beach. You can achieve a garden like this with an Australian sense of place. Here are my three tips so we can attract honey birds and honey bees into the garden. Choosing the right native plants for your garden is one of the best things you can do to attract birds. You want to include a variety to suit different bird types. Dense shrubs like this tea tree to provide cover for small birds and new hatchlings. Nectar plants like this salvia, kangaroo paw and grevillea for nectar feeding birds like honey eaters and spinebills. Native and ornamental grasses will help attract insects for birds who like to forage. But I'm also mindful of having different flowers staggered throughout the year. All birds need to drink, especially finches and pigeons which have a dry diet. In hot weather, all species need water and providing a clean source of water like this trough or bird bath is a great way to help birds out. Make sure it's high off the ground so birds feel safe and have cover nearby so they can make a quick getaway if a predator comes close. Stones in your water source help make it easier for the birds to drink and allows lizards and bees to crawl out so they won't drown. Having a bird-friendly garden like this one comes with a little bit of responsibility. Be mindful of pets, they can kill wildlife. And if you've got a cat, keep it indoors at night.